Okay, I think it's recording. Okay, all right. Welcome everybody. Welcome to our, I think it's still called 21 Days of Magic, the Magic of Essential Oils. And I think at this point, though, so mostly Anna Marie has been doing all of the interviews. And um, I believe we've gone over 21 days at this point. So maybe we'll just call it the Magic of Essential Oils. But today we have a wonderful guest with us that I get to talk to, who is also one of my wonderful friends. And we go way back, actually. Yeah, about seven years now. I believe it is. No, eight probably, years. Probably eight years, you know, because we like we met each other like, you know, in Arabic class right before. So we actually, so this is my good friend, Mary Robison. Mary, say hello. Hello. <laughs> Doesn't she look gorgeous? She comes to us all the way from England. Yorkshire? Is that true? Yeah. York? Yep, North Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. All right. Yeah, I'm sitting here in Virginia, not quite as glamorous, but it's still pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, but so this is Mary Robison. And like I said, we go back eight years and we met in Arabic class at Brigham Young University. And we went and studied in Egypt together. We were roommates and we had a fabulous time, I know, <laughs> going and seeing temples and ruins and all kinds of good things. And we had many shenanigans along the way. But today... We won't be focusing on those because I <laughs> tell them all. So, but today we will be talking about essential oils. And I also, I guess, just to further introduce Mary, she is a master student and it is University of York or is it York University? I get it confused. University of York. York University is in Canada. <laughs> That's right. I remember you telling me there was like something weird. Like, okay, so it's like University of York and she is a master student. In, you're going to have to tell me, you just told me. Like, you forgot. Uh, applied, no, like, linguistics applied linguistics for language teaching. Applied linguistics for language teaching. So Mary has a lot of experience in that. She actually, so she served as a missionary in um, Leeds, England, but it was yep. Chinese speaking, Mandarin, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, pretty cool. I know it's a little bit different, but so <laughs> Mary has a knowledge of Arabic and she knows Chinese, which is really neat. And, you know, so these two like crazy languages have these awesome, you know, writing systems and stuff. And so, yeah, and then you like you studied in Ireland, and then you spent a year study, um, teaching English in China. And yeah. now, yeah, you're finishing up your master's, and we'll see where you go next. Maybe the middle I know. Of the Exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I know. All kinds of cool stuff. So, yeah. But that's Mary, and she's a really awesome person, and so we're really lucky to have her here today. But... So special. <laughs> no. Oh, you're amazing. I'm so happy. <laughs> All right. So let's get started. So to, we are going to be talking about, obviously, essential oils, right? The magic of essential oils. And Mary has some things to share with us today. But to start off, Mary, would you tell us how you got into essential oils? I know that you've been into them longer than before I even started talking to you about them. So please share your story with us. Um, it's so funny because actually, so my family, I got into to them through my mother, actually. So mm -hmm. it was probably, I don't know, it's had to probably be now like maybe about seven, eight years when my mom started using eucalyptus okay. oil and lemon oil when she was sick and like putting them into hot water and like steaming with them. Okay. And then someone's like, oh, you should try lavender oil for your acne. And so like I started using mm -hmm. lavender oil. So it's kind of like these basic, you know, like the three basic oils of our family were lemon, eucalyptus, yeah. and lavender. Yeah. yeah, all super useful. And so we started using them. And then my uncle um, also, he does doTERRA. So he started introducing awesome. our family to a little bit more of like the expanded like options that doTERRA has. Mm -hmm. And then when I was on my mission, um, I was having some sig significant sleep issues. And so my mom started, that's when I got introduced to the doTERRA blend. So my mom sent me Serenity. Yeah. Um, home and sleep. And then ironically, because I was falling asleep while I was walking, she would send me, she sent me peppermint to stay awake during the day because I was sleeping, I was having so many issues. And so that was kind of like really the point where I was like, wow, these oils are amazing. So I started using them. So when I got back from England, uh, wow, like about four years ago now, um, I started using them more significantly and then, you know, introducing more blends and starting to use um, other things like breathe, and then other single oils like Melaleuca, love mm -hmm. Melaleuca. And like, I'm trying to like look at my oils that I have on my shelf. <laughs> what all like do starting, I have? <laughs> yeah. And like starting to use like more blends and more single oils and then starting to be like, oh, wow, look at how helpful these are. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that they can make a huge difference rather than 
like, you know, going to medicine or, mm-hmm. you know, or not like, you know, or like, like traditional, like, yeah, like, like over the counter pills and stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah. And especially in China last year, I was just like, always like, guys, essential oils will save the world. And so that's kind of how <laughs> I've gone into it. And then, I love it. <laughs> yeah, just slowly adding, slowly mm-hmm. adding to it and then, and seeing, you know, like what the different things I can do with, with oils. And so, mm-hmm. and I especially love putting them in water. That's also a solid oh thing gosh. that got me into it. Was, yes. um, grapefruit, grapefruit and water, just, like the best thing ever. I'm telling you, grapefruit, like, yeah, seriously, like, that's what I do every morning. I, like, I put in my grapefruit. I usually add some lemon in there, too, so I'm, like, I'm always doing, like, lemon and grapefruit. It just tastes so good. <laughs> Unless you have high blood pressure, then you should not use grapefruit. Yes, that is true. Lemon. Or lime. <laughs> or lime? Wait, what's wrong with lime? No, I said use lemon or lime instead oh, of Oh, use lemon or lime. I was, like, wait, what's wrong with that? Yeah, anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, awesome. Thank you for sharing that. And let's see. So, okay. Now, is there an experience or an oil or something that stands out to you um, in your experience with essential oils that you would like to talk to us about today? Oh, yes. Um, (laughs) So out of like all of the oils, I think, I mean, there's a lot of oils that I've used and like have had really good experiences using, but one in particular is Melaleuca. Mm -hmm. Um, which is the tea tree oil and Mm -hmm. so when I was living in China last year I was able to take a couple weeks and country hop through Southeast Asia and um and this was in February like the end of January beginning of February which is kind of like the dry season okay and like ending the wet like dry season so there's tons and tons of bugs everywhere so I was in Cambodia and I was wearing, like, I was wearing, like, pants, like, proper pants, like, that would, you know, cover my legs. Because, like, having lived in Cairo, like, you know what you need Proper to do. Egypt pants, right? <laughs> yeah, you have to, like, protect your legs. But, like, it, I don't know what happened. I, cut, I came back from, like, this day just going to all the temples and everything. And, and I pull up, like, take off my, my pants and my, both my legs are just covered. I mean, just covered in bug bites. I mean, at least 30 to 40 bug bites. It was ridiculous. Oh. Like ridiculous. I mean, they weren't itchy, thank goodness, but like mm-hmm. just significant. I just remember staring there and being like, what the heck? And I remember mm-hmm. before my trip, I was just like, cause I also was getting huge bug bites living in Shanghai when it was like the rainy season. So yeah. I started using it. So I just took Melaleuca, put a few drops in my hand and just slathered my entire leg <laughs> in, in, in Melaleuca. And I was like, mm-hmm. okay, well, this is what I've got. And then the next day I woke up and no joke, like after maybe like what 10 hours they were pretty much gone um and I was like it's a miracle yes like it works I mean granted Melaleuca is one of the stronger Mm -hmm. oils you have to be careful with it Mm -hmm. but it just it was it's like a miracle like a little miracle that just got rid of all of these these bug bites and then on and then I started putting it on my legs before I went out the next day for the rest of my trip and that actually prevented getting more bug bites so nice. Melaleuca, that is way to go way to go to save oh. your leg from cambodian bugs now that is a really good tip actually because yeah like i'm going to be going to girls camp later this year and it's definitely in a swampy north carolina area and so i'm gonna have to remember that smother my legs and arms and Melaleuca. now did you put coconut oil with that like did you dilute it all or did you just put straight you know neat Melaleuca on there i went straight <laughs> You're like, I just went straight. <laughs> I went hard. No, it's just like, <clears throat> I have a pretty high tolerance for yeah. like the oils anyway yeah. on my skin. Like that takes a lot for it to irritate. But, um, cause I was just traveling with a backpack. So all I had with me was, was just the, the bottle. So I just was like, well, this is what I've got. So this is what I'm going to use. <laughs> what we got. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I usually have a much higher tolerance for the oils too. I think oregano is probably one of the few that I actually you know, consistently dilute for, but yeah, that's, you know, yeah, I just, I like to just use the oils neat. So that's awesome. All right. Let me share my screen with you for a moment. And let, and let me know if you can see it. Cause I want. As in me or the universe? Well, you actually, because you're the only one who can talk to me right now. The universe can uh, with me, unfortunately. I don't know if I can see it. Oh, Megan would have started screen sharing. Cause I'm on my phone. Oh, look at that. You see it? Melaleuca? I see it. Ah, perfect. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that you see that. So, and this is for everybody. I mean, hopefully this gets, makes into the recording. It should. Um, all right. So I wanted to just present this little infographic because you talked so nicely about Melaleuca 
And I love what you said, because I'm just like, yeah, that's, that's awesome tip, because I'm totally going to have to use that in the future, this coming summer, especially. But so for Mel, um, so about Melaleuca, I want, want to just like do some quick information on it, um, just so everybody's on the same page with us, so they know what we're talking about. So Melaleuca is also known as tea tree oil, and that's what most people know it as. Like whenever I introduce to people, they're like, oh, tea tree oil. Oh, yeah, okay, I totally know what that is. And oftentimes people use it for, you know, hair, because it's really good for scalp health and stuff like that. Um, but as you so wonderfully described your experience and shared with us, Mary, that it's also good against bug bites as well. And yeah, and then traditionally I used it actually for acne. Um, that's, you know, actually that's one of the ways I got started with essential oils was when my grandmother actually gave me some Melaleuca back in high school and it was very helpful for acne. So that's something to keep in mind for anybody who struggles with that. Um, yeah, and so on here it says for key benefits, you know, it's renowned for its cleansing and rejuvenating effect on the skin. So like I said, acne, um, it is very antibacterial, so it's also good for immune system boost. Um, I usually put like two to three drops on the bottoms of my feet, you know, if I ever feel like, you know, any bug, you know, or something is coming on and I'm starting to feel under the weather, so I'll use that on my feet. And, you know, well, yeah, that was the next point on there for key benefits, promotes healthy immune function. And, and actually, I guess, yeah, like your bug story, Mary, you know, fits in right there with a third key benefit protects against environmental and seasonal effects. So yeah, I know. True. Truth. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's about a little bit about Melaleuca. And then, you know, it's distilled from the leaf of the plant and it gets distilled through steam distillation. And it is um, from Australia, which I find very cool. Well, the Australians, they know what to do. I'm telling you, Australians are some of the coolest people on this planet. I just, yeah, I think so. I think they're pretty neat. And yeah, I just like to know where everything's from. So I think that's cool. All right. And yeah, so then there's a nice little guide down here that says it can be used aromatically, topically, internally, and it can be used neat, which means you can use it topically without diluting it. Um, if you have kids, you know, if your kids are wanting, you know, if you're going to use Melaleuca on your kids, possibly dilute it with them, you know, maybe three drops of coconut oil with a drop of Melaleuca for starters you know, just in case there's any skin sensitivities, but it's a very safe, very awesome oil. So that's all about Melaleuca. And thank you, Mary, for sharing your story with us. Here, I'm going to stop the share. All right, back to us. You don't see my screen anymore? No, I see you. You see me. Awesome. <laughs> cool. All right. Now to finish up our little interview here on Melaleuca oil and just kind of your broad experience with essential oils, um, for anybody who is, I guess, curious about essential oils, who hasn't, you know, used them much, you know, is, you know, just feeling some curiosity there, um, and are thinking about starting, what would you tell that person? You know, what would you like people to know about essential oils? So many things. <laughs> All so many right. things. Well, just I tell us. That, I think that the most important thing about essential oils is finding what works for you. Um, cause I think it's easy to like get caught up in being like, Oh, I need this and this and this and this and this. Mm -hmm. But I think something that really helped me get into essential oils was starting really small with just lemon, eucalyptus, like lavender and peppermint. Mm -hmm. Like those are just such good, basic single oils that have so many uses. Mm -hmm. And then once I got really familiar with how to use oils through using those, mm -hmm. then it has expanded being like being able to learn how to use different single oils using blends and then being like oh okay you know diffusing and like okay how can you take these things internally you know oh, okay i have like gallbladder pain like <laughs> what, what yeah. not like i have gallbladder pain just fyi pain, yeah. <laughs> just as a random example but That's it's just like there's so example. many uses but finding out like you know what if it is like your skin or your thyroid or your hair mm -hmm. or something finding that oil or two that really can help with that and then expanding from there rather than trying to like understand the globe yeah. all at once. Cause I think that can get frustrating. So when you start small mm -hmm. and expand, cause just even if I look at my own collection of essential oils, it started with three and now it's just like, yeah. <laughs> a lot bigger. I like that. I like that. <laughs> just starting small. And then it has helped me understand to help people and people ask, they're like, Oh, you know, I'm having a hard time sleeping. What's really good for that? I'm like, lavender, you yeah. know, and just, and then they're like, and they're like, oh, okay, something so small. And then that can introduce them into using bigger things. So yep. start small. I like that. Anything else? Um, now I feel like there's other things I want to say that I forgot that I know <laughs> what I want to say. Um, but I think another thing I love about oils and that I want people 
to understand about oils is I think that they can be used in ways that you don't think they would work. Yeah. That was a terrible sentence. Um, okay. Meaning that, that, that really? I think that we're so not, a, I would say not addicted. That's kind of a strong term, but like we're so <laughs> focused on like take an ibuprofen or mm-hmm. like take this or take this and this will solve your problem. But it's just like, there are other methods for approaching your health holistically because the whole, the body is a whole thing. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not like you can cob- like treat just a headache without it affecting something else in your body. And so, mm-hmm. you know, oils are a way to approach your body holistically rather than as these singular parts. And so like, yes, even though you can use an oil for a specific thing, I feel like, I, I mean, this is me also still being newer to oils. It seems that most oils you can use for more than one thing. Mm-hmm. on your body mm-hmm. and for for uses and so i think that's really important to know that you can that oils are more than just for one thing so even though people typically i think focus on like tea tree oil for example for skin like there's other uses mm-hmm. for tea tree oil that you don't even know can exist and so also expanding personal knowledge and saying hey look at what else you can do with these oils to kind of look at your whole body rather than just one tiny little bit love it Oh, beautifully said, Mary. I love that. Thank you. (laughs) It's true. It's true. You've got the words today. I love it. I love it. You always do. Um, Yeah. So actually, I really like what you were saying there. So first of all, yeah, start off, you know, very basic, you know, don't feel like you have to know everything about the oils. Um, I really like that, actually, because yeah, when I first started with the oils, it was definitely a learning curve. I was like, whoa, there's like a whole world here that I don't even know anything about, you know, and so um, you know, I start out very basic as well. You know, I started, so, you know, just a little bit about doTERRA. When you first start with doTERRA, um, for anybody who's not familiar, um, you can actually start out with what, you know, what's called a starter kit. And, you know, it comes with your membership and it comes with, you know, just a basic set of oils. Now you can get some really big sets, but um, you can also start with some very basic ones, you know, that come with, you know, 10 oils. And what's nice is it comes with a guide on how to use those oils. And so that's what I started with. And it was nice to just, you know, start with those 10 basic oils. It came with some, um, I think it was like four blends and then like six single oils. So it had, you know, lemon, lavender, peppermint, melaleuca, oregano, you know, had some blends like breathe, on guard, digest. And so I had some, you know, very basic, awesome oils that you can use for a lot of different things. And it was nice to start off with those because it covered probably like 90% of my problems and you know it was just a very nice easy way to get into the oils and then just you know build from there um so i love what you said mary you know start off with something you know just simple you know really get to know some you know some oils and then you can build from there because yeah in the beginning it is a little bit of a learning curve when you're like okay this you know i'm just starting out i'm you know because traditionally you know we've probably been using like over-the-counter stuff and you know so we're just kind of used to that system but then you get into oils where there's all kinds of options which also leads into what you were saying, Mayor, about, you know, that you can use the oils for more than one thing and probably in ways that you hadn't even thought, you know, like with Melaleuca, I never thought that you could really use it internally, you know, as a yeah. immune system boost, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. It's kind of a new thing, you know, to really be like, oh, I can take the oils internally. What, you know, a lot of people I talk to, they're really surprised when they're like, oh, you can take these internally. Um, which I will say as a note that with these oils, doTERRA oils, you can absolutely take these internally. Um, do be careful about the quality of your oils um, in case they aren't doTERRA you know you just need to make sure that there aren't fillers in there you know any artificial things going on because then yeah that degrades the quality and you don't want to be taking those internally but with these doTERRA oils especially yeah you can take these internally and you should I'm, you know again melaleuca awesome for immune system and like you know you were saying Mary, with like grapefruit in the water lemon in the water you know those are awesome and you know very cleansing and so you should absolutely be taking those internally but um yeah so awesome thoughts mary thank you so much happy happy to help oh wonderful Share my knowledge that's what i have <laughs> I was gonna say, no i love this I, I love your experiences i mean i wish we had a lot longer you know so then you could like share all of your experiences because i mean i mean this girl seriously folks like you know mary like she's probably one like the most awesome <laughs> queen for me. like she has the best stories so yeah, know her. sometimes <laughs> not great stories they're hilarious but they are hilarious <laughs> and so yeah yeah check always... out my future novel for other such stories yes exactly yeah I, I i don't doubt that i'm gonna see some really awesome novels from you someday <laughs> anyway but thank you very much mary for the Happy interview 
and I'll go ahead and finish our recording here. And thank you everybody for coming on. I hope you enjoyed the interview. And um, you know, below this post, um, just post if you have any questions, feel free to message me or Mary. And if you have any questions about the oils and we'll hook you up. So take care, everyone have a good day. See ya. Bye.